Amen. God bless you. Amen. We uh, give God the praise for the scripture and everything that's been said already. And uh, the part of worship, we give thanks for all that has taken place. And uh, we are excited for what God is doing. Amen. Amen. Gracious Lord, we humbly come before you awesome as to say thank you. thank you. We praise you for this is the day that you have made. We shall be rejoiced and glad in it. We thank you for getting us to this portion and how we worship you and we give you the glory and the honor that you so much deserve. Now, Lord, as I decrease, I pray that you will increase, that the Spirit will flow through this vessel, that they will be able to hear from heaven one more time. We glorify you and we honor you. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, my strength and my redeemer. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Let's all say amen. 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 I want to uh, go ahead with the second part of uh, returning to the truth. Amen. amen. I want to uh, thank uh, Sister Antoinette for reading that passage of scripture and kind of a little off kill in there but there's something in there for us to, to, to grasp this, this morning, amen, amen. Uh, from Paul, and, uh, from Timothy excuse me, uh, this morning but I want to I wanna use this for a, a thought uh, uh, the attack on truth uh, last week we talked about what is truth Amen. But today I want to talk about uh, the attack on truth. Amen. Amen. And, and, and it is something that has been done. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Juneteenth, amen, is a significant holiday for many people uh, because today uh, was set aside to, to recognize and celebrate the end of slavery in the United States. Uh, the Emancipation Proclamation, a, it was signed on the first day of January in 1863 uh, to legally end the system of enslavement. Uh, but, but listen, but, but most people didn't realize, uh, 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 don't even understand, it took two years uh, for many slaves to find out they were free. Yes. So Juneteenth, uh, uh, it really occurred on the 19th of June in 1865. Uh, uh, when, uh, listen, when 2,000 Union troops came to Gallatin Bay and set over 250,000 slaves who were still operating under the old system of slavery. 250,000. Even though uh, for two and a half years these individuals uh, were legally free, they had behaved as though they were enslaved because they didn't know uh, they were not. See, the Confederate soldiers were still holding their territory uh, and they refused to yield to the proclamation by the president, which was President Lincoln in 1863. It took, listen, it took another power backed by several thousand soldiers to bring to reality what was established illegally, that they were free. There exists another kind of slavery today that holds us true hostage. And, 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 and it, it is the truth. It's holding us in bondage because of the fact that there's so many lies in our society. 
Uh, it keeps us chained uh, uh, in the existence uh, uh, to realize that we have been free and liberated. Uh, that's what we said last week with John. Uh, John 31 and 32 uh, that, that Jesus uh, said to those Jews, if you believe in him, if you continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Uh, Jesus was talking to people that believed in him. They didn't half step they believed in him and they were already Christians following and he just gave them a little word of encouragement to let them know that you are free and you are free indeed and and Jesus uh, 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 he wanted them to know that they were not bound and trapped by the enemy uh, they were free now, to live free is to experience the full expression of your destiny in life. Freedom is only access through faith. And I think somebody said that this morning. Uh, uh, you must diligently seek him. Amen. Faith, that's how faith comes. Amen. But in this day and age, faith is going away. It's going away. Everything everything that they're talking about there's no validity behind it there's, there's nothing, that there's no truth about. It's a lie upon another lie upon another lie and you know it, work, it, 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 takes, it takes some work to lie because you can't once you say something and it's not true uh, you gotta come back and say it again and, and you will find out those that continue to lie can never say the same thing over and over. It's always something else twisted. Twisted in it. Because it's not true. But when you say true you only got to say it one time. And it will have action and do what it's been called to do. Amen? Because truth is often found. Amen? And, 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 and where the validity is, is on the word of God. Amen? And, and, and so when, when, when we gain this glimpse to understand that, that the enemy is, is trying to hold us captive to truth, we will realize uh, what's going on. We will realize what's going on. And, and, and Jesus, Jesus boldly stated this to, 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 to Satan, you are a liar. He said, he said, Satan, you're a liar. And everything about you that's closed is deception. There's no truth about it. You, you, you're not it. You, you're a lie. Uh, uh, and, and then, listen, listen to what he said here in, in Isaiah, uh, the 14th chapter. Uh, he says it in, in verse 12 through 14. He says, uh, uh, How art thou falling from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which doesn't weaken the nation? For, for, for thou hast said in thy heart, I, Satan said this, he says, I will ascend in heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also among the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. I will ascend above the height of the clouds. I will be the most high. See, that's what Satan said. That's what Satan said. But oh, quickly did he not realize uh, that God was still in control. Uh, uh, he said that I will ascend. <clears throat> I will rise. And I will sit. And, and I will make myself the most high. Uh, you see, the bottom line is this. Satan was jealous of God. Yes, he, 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 he was jealous from the beginning. Uh, uh, he came with a motive. Uh, 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 he didn't like what God had. Amen. And he wanted his glory. He wanted the attention. And he wanted the control. Uh, so you have to understand uh, uh, this is what Satan was looking for. He really wanted to be independent. He wanted to be by himself. 
but he wanted everybody to worship him. Uh, and really, he didn't also want to adhere to a higher rule. He, he wanted to be higher than God. He wanted to call all the shots. He wanted to be the chief in charge. And, 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 and he also wanted all his eyes on him. And he wanted everybody to worship him. And he, he wanted everybody to acknowledge him uh, over the power of God. Amen. And so in order to get that, in order for him to do that, he, 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 his way to get there was deception. Deception. Uh, uh, and so what we have to realize, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, we have to keep in mind uh, one thing about this. We know because we heard this before, and we, we know from Sunday school, we've heard this before, that when Satan was thrown out, of heaven, a third of the angels went with him. But there's something that we probably don't talk about. Uh, all of those angels, one third of the angels, were sinless. They were sinless angels. And, 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 and so because the, they were sinless angels, uh, uh, they can deceive uh, to follow the demon or Satan uh, because uh, 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 the fact of, of them being able to, to bring lies and, and craftiness, amen, and, and half-baked truth, amen, and, and making it difficult to discern the truth. You know how it is uh, uh, when somebody asks you something, uh, uh, somebody asks you for the whole truth, but, but you only give them half. The truth. You don't tell them everything. You, you know how it is when, 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 when we got in trouble when, and our parents ask us what we did and, and, and we say, I really didn't do it. <laughs> it. It really wasn't me. It was my brother. It, it was my sister. Uh, it really, it was the dog. It wasn't me. <laughs> but your parents saw the whole thing right there in front of you you just didn't see them, but they saw the whole thing, and they just kindly wanted to ask. Well, you know, I understand it happened, Mom, but, but that really wasn't me. You know that's not me. You know that's not who I do. You know the things I don't do, you know. And they just like, just tell the truth. I just wanted to, I just wanted to see if you was going to be responsible to tell the truth. And we have tell the truth. And, and see, that's what happens when we entertain these angels and, and we don't discern that they're a God. Uh, we end up telling the half side of the story. Yeah. And, and, and we craft in to figure out you know, uh, 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 we get pulled over by the police. And, and well, well, the reason that I was going so fast was, was because of uh, uh, but that really wasn't the truth. Uh, uh, it may have been the situation, but, but that wasn't the truth. Uh, I mean, I know you was late to the meeting, and, and, but that didn't still give you authority to, to, to go beyond the speed limit because of the fact that you needed to get to the meeting. Uh, uh, if you would have got yourself up a little bit earlier that day, you may have had enough time uh, uh, to be able to get there, amen? So you started pressing yourself. Uh, uh, so, you know, we just trying to, to connive ourselves uh, all the way through. Uh, 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 but listen, uh, 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 the attack on truth, amen, and I'm almost done, amen. And, and so when God created humanity, uh, uh, he gave a well-known instruction to Adam. And he told Adam this. He says, uh, Adam... You cannot eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I want you to understand, Adam. He says, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not 
eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest, therefore thou shalt surely die. And that's in Genesis 2, 17. He basically told him, don't eat of this tree of knowledge of good and evil. If you do, you will die. Uh, it, it was one of the forbidden actions that God had gave Adam in this garden. See, this garden was filled with everything that Adam needed. It wasn't nothing that Adam didn't need that the garden didn't provide. Uh, but the only thing that the only one thing that Adam couldn't do was he couldn't go to this tree. And and and, and this tree kind of kind of uh, uh, if, if I can bring it to a newer term, amen, uh, 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 a more uh, a relevant uh, term, this tree is almost like the Google tree. Uh, uh, I refer to this tree uh, because, you know, Google provides information. Uh, a source, a pandemic of thoughts, amen. Uh, 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 the, this tree that was put there for Adam uh, uh, was not the one uh, uh, to determine what is good or what is evil, uh, uh, independent of God. Uh, uh, but God, amen, was Adam's information serve center. In other words, uh, uh, because of what God had provided for Adam, uh, all he had to do was go to God. He didn't need to go to the tree of knowledge of good and evil. He had to, all he needed to do was go to the source. And the problem, but my brothers and sisters, that what happens to us in our lives is we go to everybody else but the source. We go to my mother, we go to my father, I go to the children, I go to the government, I, I, I go to the school system, but I never go to God to hear what he wants us to know. I never go to the source, and I run into a problem, and when I get into a problem, if I don't go to the source, I end up in a worse situation because of the fact I didn't hear from heaven. And when you do that, you understand that you put yourself in danger. Because of the fact this is, my brothers and sisters, truth originates from the source. Let me say that again. Truth originates from the source. It originates from the source which is God, which is God. And Satan, and, and, and Satan, he tried to line up all these lies, and, and, and basically, he, it, it, what he presented to Adam and Eve in, in Genesis was, has God said? What did God say? Did you ask God? Yeah. He, he, he did. Uh, 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 Satan was bringing deception to, 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 to both Adam and Eve. Uh, uh, he basically says, has God said? Uh, uh, did, did, did God really know what he's talking about? Uh, uh, see, 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 Satan is challenging them. Uh, he says, is God really informed you? Uh, 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 does God really understand you? Uh, uh, does God really want what is best for you? You, you, you? You've heard people ask you these things. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Uh, uh, can God really figure you out? Uh, uh, does God really care about you? Uh, uh, that is people that are trying to deceive you. You, uh, because they're trying to figure out something and bring in deception toward you. Uh, amen. The attack on truth. Amen. Uh, uh, but see, the question can change uh, uh, from the root that remains the same. See, Satan seeks to strip away any of our belief and the integrity of God. He, 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 he tries to confuse you. See, you were doing what God had called you to do, but, but then 
something goes in, uh, you heard uh, uh, in your mind, something goes in uh, about, uh, does he really care about you? Is that what he really said? And, 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 and then you start trying to figure out, but God had already told you what you needed to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's just a scheme. It's just a scheme uh, uh, of things. Praise God. Let, let, let me close. So the way Satan was successful in deceiving Adam and Eve uh, thousands of years ago it's basically the same thing that's actually happened to us right now. He, he didn't really change uh, the approach uh, of what would. It still works. The, the deception that was given to Adam and Eve by Satan back then is the same thing that is affecting us. Amen? But I, I, I don't know. You may not you, you, you may not be in uh, involved with this. You may not like it, but you know, this is the time of the year or the fall when football is around. Amen? Football. Amen? Some of us are trying to get to the game right now. Amen? <laughs> but, 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 you know, this is you know, college football and professional football. But one thing, uh, in a football game, uh, you may not understand too much about football, but there's one thing that you can commonly see if you've ever watched a game. In a game of football, if if one player commits a foul, uh, the whole team is penalized. It, it, that's just how it works. The whole team suffers. Similarly, uh, when Adam in the garden sinned, the, the whole world fell into chaos. Uh, uh, the truth uh, that Adam holds today for many, uh, a sin has a way of affecting much more uh, uh, than those people. Uh, amen. Uh, uh, the things that are around us. Because sin doesn't just affect us, it affects everybody around us. Amen. So the, the the, the goal of deception is, is, is to keep us away from God. The longer you, you believe the lie, the longer you are separated from God. So, so, so I just want to look at this text here real quick. Amen. Uh, uh, Paul says here, uh, uh, he says, uh, uh, deceptive spirit. Amen. He says, now uh, in verse 1, he says, now the Spirit is speaking expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducive spirits and doctrines of devils. Now Paul is saying, listen, do, do you see it? Can you see what's going on? People are walking away from the gospel. Do you understand? They are departing from their faith and, and they're believing in these deceptive uh, uh, spirits and doctrines of these cults. Amen. That, and they're basically going on. And he says it too. Uh, speaking lies and hypocrisy. Uh, 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 leave, uh, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Uh, uh, your, your conscience uh, is brand hard uh, uh, about something that, that, that is not right. It's so far away from the truth. The truth has no way of getting in because it's a hot iron. Amen. And, and, and so then he goes on talking about forbid to marry. You, 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 you hear all this about the politicians and what's going on, talking about how marriages and all this. God's already said how marriage is supposed to be. He says it, that's it, that, that, that's it. It's not going to change. It's between a husband and a wife. Amen. It's not going to change that. And, and so uh, then he goes on 
and it says, I command it to abstain from meat. That was, you know, back in the days, there were certain things that they wasn't supposed to eat, but that was back then, amen? Uh, but now we understand that, you know, there are things that we can't eat today, amen? And God, and God has created to be received with thanksgiving to them which believe and know the truth. We talked about that. And into his courts with praise. And to his gates with thanksgiving. I'm thanking God for what he's done. I'm thanking God for his protection. I'm thanking God for his provision. I'm thanking God for his fam for my family. I'm thanking God for my health. I'm thanking God that he's allowed me to breathe. I'm thanking God that I have a portion of my health. I'm thanking him that I have a right mind. And, and, and I trust and believe somebody was saying, if you understand what it is, it's the word of God. It's not my word. It is the word of God. And it is truth. It is truth. So, so what we have to understand, uh, I don't care what the public schools are saying. I, I don't care what's on the television. I, I don't care what's been shown in the movies. Uh, I don't care what these radical leaders are saying. Uh, uh, don't try to pull you from the, to the right and to the left away, but, but just trying to understand about all these lies. But the truth is that Jesus is your defense attorney. Uh, uh, and he works pro bono. In other words, without a fee. Uh, uh, Satan has been defeated. Satan has no authority. Satan has no power because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. You become over all your sins. Uh, uh, and listen, uh, uh, just like it was, amen, uh, uh, in the Wizard of Oz, amen, uh, uh, with the Witch of the West, uh, they poured water on her and destroyed her, amen. And, uh, but when you come back and you flee and you flee and, and you call upon the blood of Jesus Christ, the power of your testimony, amen, the basically is the word of God is the truth because listen, Satan is allergic to the scripture. Satan is allergic to truth. Satan is allergic to that of one who calls on Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The attack on truth is deception. But the defense is Jesus and him crucified. Yes. God bless you. Yes. May him smile upon you. But don't let Satan attack you and tell you you're not doing what you've been doing. God bless you. Amen. May him smile upon you Amen. as you go forward on today. Amen. Let us stand.